very, very expressive playing. Um, I think you clearly like this music a lot. Um, and it's hard to do sometimes because they're etudes, right? So it's like, oh my goodness, this is like eating vegetables or having green things, which I should have more of all the time. Um, and etudes are, we have this idea of them, and you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job with finding the music in both of them. It's really gorgeous the way you're playing. I want to talk about the beginning, but there's also that wonderful transition into the, the major part, right? Um, so can you start from the very opening of the of Piari 4? <laughs> Okay, great, great. It's, it's a, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job with this etude. But I'm not hearing enough bottoms of chords. I'm hearing the wonderful top double stop that you have, but the... I'm not hearing that fifth as much. Can we have a little bit more clarity on the lower two strings? And so this is something that I spoke to Mina about. Um, dropping the bow tip ever so slightly on the lower string so that we don't get a, which I'm getting a little bit from your playing, is a little bit this for the bottom. So we want to hear the fifth, right? Yeah, even more. Imagine that your bow tip is pointing this way for this instrument. Yes, exactly. So the reason, this is something that's very interesting about how bow angles work, um, is that when we're playing, if we have our bow completely straight, I guess this might be perpendicular to the string, we pull this way, there's no change in our contact point, right? If we do this way, contact point automatically wants to move up. And so when we want to find more resistance in our playing and we want more core, actually if we do the opposite, then the bow will automatically move towards the bridge without the effort. And so we were talking to Mina about having to push a little bit into the string because we need extra effort, but if we can let the bow go with gravity into the bridge, then we don't need to use our arm or muscles to muscle the sound. Um, and there's more... 99% of the time, more resonance than that kind of sound. Um, so even with short moments like this, I think if you drop the bow tip, like what are the, with this chord, let the bow tip drop on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, I think you can use even more bow than you're using. You're a little, a little bit compact. Be a little bit more bold with the sound. Yeah, yeah that, that chord as well. Let the bow tip drop. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay, so that's something that I want your ear to be attuned to now. Because I think you've worked so hard on getting these double stops in the, on the upper two strings to be in tune, have a wonderful sound, that I lose the quality of the lower strings occasionally. So make sure that it's really important to you that you hear as you're playing. Like it's, I mean, that tells us what key we're in. Otherwise, we're in like an inversion, right? Yeah. Um, can we skip to... Where is a good place to start? Can you skip to right here? Okay, yeah. Yeah, second time, going into the major section.
Okay, so I don't want to always say take more time, but I don't think you gave us enough of a difference between um, what is what happens in between the two moments. So after you play this, before you start the next section, can you what is what's happening in the music? Um, like it's not technically, like emotionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I need to adjust myself like physically okay. to be able to play this. Uh -huh. Also, wait for the like for the audience to also be able to adjust to it. Yeah. So to take more time. Okay. Why? What's the reason to take more time? Um, because I I don't want the two two different characters to sound the same. Okay. Yes, that is all true. Okay. So, what is the difference in the two characters? This to be, this should be more powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lighter. But those are all technical things. I want to know why it's important to you, what, what you feel when you're playing, when you get to the F major. Um, is it, is this more um, easygoing? Is, we have no more cares in life. Or is it actually nostalgic? Um, I think these are all very different things. Hopeful. Um, what, are, what do you feel at this moment? It can change, it doesn't have to be this always. I feel like it's kind of, um, for me, it's like, it's like love, but not like passionate love, of course, but it's like more like gratitude. And gratitude, okay. Thankfulness for everything. So like parental love. Mm -hmm. Interesting, okay. Can you start this section with that in mind? I think it's fantastic. You took a slightly slower tempo, I think, and you took your time in between gestures. I think your C major chord can be, have a little bit more depth in it. Because it's such like a, oh, moment, right? Like maybe this is like, thank God I have people supporting me. Like there's so, so much gratitude, like you're saying there. Find even more depth in your sound for that chord. Um, I don't know wh where to start. Can you start? Close to that chord. Yeah. yeah, can we hear, Alex, can we hear the full fifth at the bottom? Are those the notes? Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing a little bit. The full chord. Can you try it from the same place? Yeah, let your bow tip drop even more. It's going to feel ridiculous because your bow is going to be doing all these different angles, but trust it that the bow is going to move to the bridge. And you'll hear the resistance. Yeah, okay, did you feel how close to the bridge you got without trying? So, maybe you need to adjust when you get to the A string if you end up too close to the bridge, right? Can you do the same thing? Can you do just the chord by itself? Yep. Yeah, so, again, same thing, just like you did. Now you can pull your bow away from the bridge. So, can you try that? I think that's such, such a full chord. Can you put that in context? Yeah, okay. I, 
I think just to keep exploring that way of playing your chords because you're doing so much of it so wonderfully. You're singing so wonderfully with very, very hard double stops here. It's like, it feels like you're like an inchworm a little bit and you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job with it. And so just to find depth in the, in the chord when you're playing it, always it's so important that we care about these lower two strings. Um, just the very, very end now. Can you go from the... Do you know where the, the, I don't even know if those are the notes, whatever they, they are. Okay, so that last chord is another example of needing uh, full depth of the bottom two strings, right? So if you can explore, drop the bow tip for the lower two strings. But before we get there, we need to, um, can you connect the two? I hear measure, 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 measure. But the, you're doing a bit of a subito, which is fantastic. But if you do the subito, uh, needs to connect, otherwise we have four one measure phrases. But now we can have two measure phrases, which is great. Yeah, same place. Yeah, can you play just the chord, the... And don't worry, don't worry about pressing. You don't have to try to get more sound. Same thing? Yeah. Even less, oh, arm weight is good. Less force with the sound. You're, I'm seeing a little bit of this happening. You're pushing down. Just pull with your arm. Exactly, same thing again, one more time. Okay, now can you put it together with the... This is the very last beat. A little bit more sweet sweetness. It's a little bit angry that... Yeah, you have so much time. Don't rush. No one's, no one's going... You don't have to get there, right? Yeah. Even more time. You can go whatever, no, whatever time you need. Yeah. Exactly. Even that was so precise. Last time, even more time. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking that much time. I think it's so important that we let our body... I mean, we're prioritizing the music in this case, right? We don't just have to get from... to that chord. I think sometimes there is the danger of losing the pulse, but I think the important thing for you here is that you're already slowing down. So you might as well continue the slowdown all the way into the cadence. And in this case, it's really important that we have as much control over our sound on the lower strings as we can. Um, because you're doing the upper stuff so wonderfully. Um, so care even more about that and experiment with that bow angle. It's so wonderful to have the resonance without having to try hard, right? Yeah, great, cool. Thank you, thank you so much. Beautiful thing.